As a public defender, Judge Karen fought for her client's rights. She was elected to the bench because she believes in doing the right thing. I'm very passionate about helping people, period. Sometimes life pulls you from up here to down here to teach you a lesson. And you're in a valley right now. And there are lessons in this valley. I hope you learn from them. Objective, independent, justice. You can always turn your life around. If you keep walking, you can overcome whatever circumstances you're facing. This is Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Coming up, why it was pretty much just in the motion of uh, going full speed at Simon. And mm -hmm. then he did say, like, I didn't hear what he said, but he do, do looked up and then just straight slam. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Simon Ackerlin is suing hockey league opponent Wyatt Chambers in the amount of $1,500. Mr. Ackerlin claims he was seriously injured after Mr. Chambers body checked him during a recreational game. All right, Mr. Ackerlin, you are suing Mr. Chambers for personal injury uh, as a result of a, a hockey game incident? Correct. Is that right? So you play hockey? Correct. How long have you played hockey? All my life. Ice hockey? Correct. And you are an ice hockey player too? Yes. Uh, how did you meet the defendant? We played for a local league and he is just known as the brute of the league. And so that's just very well known and why I think that it's right. obvious right. that the hit was malicious and, and why he needs to pay me. So you mean he's, he's got a reputation for being a brute? Absolutely. Is that right? I mean, I, I guess that's what he says. Right. But I don't have you ever heard that before? No. So you two have played against each other in the past? Yes. Okay. And Multiple so times. did something happen in the past? Not as egregious as this, but he has definitely tried to check me pretty much every single time. What do you mean he tries to check you? Um, so, so that would be, that would be when I am near the wall and then he comes at me full speed uh -huh. and just rams me straight into, into the wall. Into the wall. And there are ways in which that are is. Are you allowed to do that? Yes. In some, in some circumstances. Okay, when aren't you allowed to do it? Whenever you do not give them enough time and distance to prepare for the hit. So whenever it's completely blindsided. You and mean that like if your back is turned to him? Correct, correct. He or, do it. Or, is that true? He wanted me to call him on the phone and tell him I was going to hit him. Or, or, or if I'm completely distracted. Let's stop. Uh, do the rules say, though, that you're not supposed to check him if his back is turned to you? You're not supposed to hit a, a player who's technically defenseless. Coming up. Basically, the court brought, brought it down to whether or not the action was so outside the range of ordinary activity associated with ice hockey. That's the question. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Simon Ackerland, who is suing Wyatt Chambers for personal injury. I had some case law uh, brought out for me on this issue. I need to read it. In general, the court holds that every person owes a duty of ordinary care to guard against injuries to others. Body checking an opponent evinces a conscious disregard for the safety of the person being struck. And such conduct is an inherent fundamental part of the sport. To determine otherwise, the court held, would have a pronounced chilling effect on full contact sports. So this basically, the court brought, brought it down to whether or not the action was so outside the range of ordinary activity associated with ice hockey. That's the question. Are there any witnesses? Who is Jamal Burns? He is a uh, usher at the ice rink. Okay, I think the court listed him as a witness. The court calls Jamal Burns. All right, so uh, Mr. Burns, how do you know these parties? So I usually just work at the uh, league. I don't, well, no, I work at the, I work as an usher. So at the stadium? Yeah. How long have you been doing that? About a year and a half. Okay. Um, so I usually just see him in passing. Uh, right. I usually watch him play. But did you see what happened on the day of this incident? Yeah, I was working that day. What happened that day? So um, Wyatt was pretty much just in the motion of uh, going full speed at Simon. And mm -hmm. then he did say, like, I didn't hear what he said, but he do, do looked up and then just straight slam. Okay. You heard the defendant, defendant say something? Yeah. And then... 
seconds later, what happened? Just full on, like, hit him hard. Right. Did it appear that the plaintiff hurt him? Yeah, they looked up and made full eye contact with each oh, other. Oh, and made eye contact with each other. Yeah. Judge Karen's verdict when Supreme Justice returns. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. So then what happened the next morning? The next morning I couldn't lift my right arm. And I went to the doctor, they told me it was going to be a four-week recovery process, and right. I was not going to be able to um, assist my team in, in the rest of the, right. the series. Okay. Well, I think I'm bound by this case law. And it talks about the player acting totally outside the range of ordinary activity associated with ice hockey. I mean, maybe if, if you had accused him of picking up his puck, I mean, what do you call that, stick? The stick. And beating you with it. <laughs> Pick your hockey stick. <laughs> you know, maybe if he had, you know, beating you across the head with his hockey stick, maybe that. But this checking to me seems to be within the range of normal, ordinary activity. When I think of the game of ice hockey, which I have not seen since I was 19 years old, that's my image of it. People slamming other people up against that wall. I just think it's. All right, I'm ready to rule judgment for the defendant. Good luck to you. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. I know you meant to injure me on purpose. You should have had to pay. Hey, buddy, toughen up. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.